What's up guys, welcome back to Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered for the second video, or you could say the second of the second videos. Since we've played through this game already, um, but it didn't save our progress, so today we're just going to continue on, do some racing events, do some police events. Um, so this one, it looks like it's a preview event. For vanish, it's called Vanishing Point, and it looks like we're gonna be driving the Pagani Cinque Roaster, the Zonda Cinque. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but let's see. We're gonna get a nice orange, and we're gonna go matching that car there. So we gotta get there in a minute and 22 seconds to get the 6,000 bounty. So we did it in a minute and 17 in our last playthrough, so we'll see what we can do here. Alright, here we go. So this thing is sick. Some other camera angles we have. Do some nitros where we can. This is just a preview event, so we don't actually have this car unlocked. It's literally just showing us you know what we can get later on in the the game, so just trying to keep it a little interesting, I suppose, so that um, you know you have a desire to get through the game. Ooh, we run right into that wall, don't we? Right, we five miles on shortcuts, apparently. That's fun. Fast, sounds awesome. Paganis are so cool. So we've got 20 seconds to get there, and we're about half a mile away. Let's not hit the van. Oh my gosh, the steering in this game is so wonky sometimes. I do remember that from the last time we played through it. Alright. We got it though, okay. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but we barely got it after wrecking, so I guess we'll take that. If you guys have played this game, you kind of know that the steering is a little wonky every now and then. Um, so I like full on was holding left and it was still going to the right, so. All right, so we got one of those down. Let's see here. Let's do this rapid response. Um, I'm never a big fan of the rapid response ones, but we'll go ahead and start it up. We're in a 911 Turbo, so an old school Porsche. So we've got 2 minutes and 40 seconds to get there to get the Distinction Medal and the 6,000 Bounty. It looks like we got there in 226 in our last playthrough. Here we go. So rapid response. We're literally just trying to get to the location and not trying to hit anything or damage the car because you get penalties on that. So right. Let's see. Let's boost. We don't have very much of it in the, this police car, do we? It uses it really quick. There you go. Car. We're just out for a nice leisurely stroll. Right. Leisurely stroll at 164 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. yeah they're back. Okay. They about decided it wanted to spin into that wall. Ooh, cut through that traffic there. That bridge doesn't look safe. It was very. Oh my gosh. It just like drug me into that car. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. The steering in this is just such... It, it's weird. I mean, it's very arcadey, obviously, but sometimes it just feels like it drags you into cars. Like, in that last race in the Pagani, it just didn't turn left at all. So, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell me, I guess, is more so. I don't think I'm that bad of a driver. Um, but, you know... 
never say never, and it could easily just be a me issue, so. We've got two miles left, and about a minute to get there. So, uh, realistically, if we go, you know, over 160 miles an hour, we should get there in two minutes, or in the minute, within a minute. So, we'll be fine. We've got a three second penalty from hitting that car. Which I don't think it's tacked on yet, so... Just need to keep charging on. Let's see what we can do. We've been pedal to the metal the entire time. So hopefully it doesn't penalize us for just the one... Two crashes. Uh. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Alright. So we had five seconds worth of penalties, and we got there in... 229 okay so it does add that penalty to that so we just we would have beat our prior uh time if we wouldn't have hit any cars but nonetheless we did hit cars all right what do we have now new car procured oh so we get the 911 turbo okay not terrible another vehicle 370z yeah very cool all right, so let's jump into another race event. It's a title fight. This is a duel, so it'll be between a Lancer and a WRX STI, so. All right, so we can only pick the Lancer here. And we're gonna put it in... Different for a reason. Put it in blue. Known as Evo. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be play or racing one-on-one -on -one against a Subaru, and we just have to come in first to get that 6,000 bounty. So blue versus blue, here we go. All right, so I don't know who's actually faster. I mean, this has been the battle of the ages, right? The all-wheel drive four-door sedans. Which car do you like better? Do you like... I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be these models, but are you a Subaru or a um, Lancer person? Personally, I like Subarus better. Um, I do like the older uh, Lancer Evolutions. Um, this one's probably my least favorite body style. Um, but I've always been a bigger fan of Subaru than I have been of the Lancers. But let me know down below what your thoughts on that are. Definitely be interesting to see what the general census is there. Come out right beside him here. Wish we had some spike strips. We'll unlock those as we play a little bit too, but, um... I don't know that we could have used them in this race anyway, but it's been funny to throw some spike strips down as we came out across or out of that shortcut. Let's see, we still have three and a half miles to go. Again, nothing's really a guarantee in this game. Oh, there's a shortcut right there, I didn't even see. But nothing's a guarantee in this game, um, just because of the rubber banding that the AI has. Allegedly has, right? I mean, they can come back pretty quick. Let's take this shortcut down here. This is the one that we took when we were going the other way, and it said that we were like eight and a half seconds ahead of the racers. So six, almost seven and a half, or seven seconds faster. I don't necessarily know how true that is. Got a new part of the shortcut unlocked here. Put a boost on. Right now we're just kind of wasting. There we go. So we're still four seconds ahead. Got that 
that's a shortcut or not. It doesn't seem like it would be. I see the finish line on the map. We got fully built up nitrous right now. And there we go. Cross the line. Title fight. We have finished first. Very good. So we'll get the gold medal there. We beat our personal best. So there we go. So we'll move on to another police event now. Actually, we will see what new car we unlocked. BMW Z4. Very cool. You could make a joke that that's the new Supra, but... We got another new car. An Audi TT RS. Nice. Very good. Alright, so let's jump into the Grand Ocean Coast. And we're going to learn about Roblox in this one. As a member of the SCPD, you have the full backing of the command center on every mission. For this next mission, command has approved the use of local Roblox units. Calling in the units will set up a roadblock ahead of you and the suspect on the road. Any collision with the roadblock will cause the suspect heavy damage and slow them down, giving you an opportunity to move in. All right, so let's see here. We've got quite a few cars to choose from. Our Subaru is still the fastest, well, fastest acceleration. It's one mile an hour slower than that Porsche. However, the, 350, or the 370Z says it's unclassified. Let's see. So 332 brake horsepower against 305. So we'll try. We're gonna try the 370. Let's see what we can do. And here we go. So it looks like we have five roadblocks at our disposal, and we have to bust. It looks like it's just a single racer within two minutes to get the distinction medal. So the racer is a Dodge Charger. And here we are. We may not even need to use a Pursura roadblock. I think I'll go ahead and use one now. So we'll just run him into that. Oh. Huh. He's not having a good time right now. I'm gonna do a reverse bust. He stopped. We got him. There we go. Didn't even need to use a roadblock. We had to beat our personal best there, right? 24.53. 24.53. There we go. I don't understand what happened there, but we got the guy. So we're gonna take that. Let's see. Is that gonna get us. We got a new reward, so it's gonna get us a new car. I think. Okay, what did we get? Okay, the police version of the TTRS. Very cool. All right, so let's keep going. We're gonna do this Memorial Valley Hot Pursuit Breach of the Peace. So let's see what we got here. We're gonna give us spike strips as a racer here. Installed with the latest anti-pursuit technology. The spike strip. Based on SCPD technology, the system releases a lethal spiked strip from the rear of your car. If another vehicle drives over the strip, they will be damaged and temporarily immobilized. Use the moment well and make your move. Your vehicle can only carry a limited number of strips and will take time to recharge after each use. So only fire when you are confirmed a hit. Your hmm. heads up display will let you know when the system is online. All right. So there we go. Do we have? I kind of want to use the 370 like now. I think we can go with the the Z4 though. Looks like it's our fastest one, and we'll just keep it in that nice red color. So we've got four spike strips to use. Looks like we're gonna have police chasing us, and we need to get first place to get that gold medal and that 6,000 bounty. 
It's gonna be a seven and a half mile race as well. You're definitely going over that 35 mile an hour speed limit, so. Come and get us, cops, right? Alright, so we've got what is it, an RX-8, it's a Subaru, and I think I've got the Lancer up there, or a Charger. Okay. The Z4 just seems so light. There's not much to it. It feels really quick. About to come across a cop here. It's the uh, Taurus interceptor concept. Got another shortcut here. <clears throat> Bust out these mad drifts right through here. I think there's spike strips online. We're gonna pop that. We'll hit the cop with it. So that's gonna get a little bit off our back right there. We got a roadblock here. So these roadblocks are hard to get through with the kind of weird steering that this game has. And they only give you a little gap, like our car barely fit through that. But we didn't take much damage from that, so that's good. Looks like our spike strip's back online whenever we want to use it again. So we'll wait till we get on a straighter section. And cops a little closer. There seems fine. I hope that's not the same cop. I think it is. That'd be kind of embarrassing to get hit by, hit by it twice. Couldn't squeeze into that shortcut, but it's okay. We need to use some of our nitrous through here. There we go. Still consistently in first place. We're under three miles left in the race. Their drivers aren't far behind, though. Get the big drift going. Get some of that nitrous built back up down this straightaway. If one of those racers gets close to me, I'm going to use a spike strip on them, so. The trail yard. Yeah, train yard. That's it. The trail yard. I was trying to say trail or rail yard and train at the same time, apparently. Cut through the mine here. Unit up here. Roadblock on Another roadblock. We made it through there without any issues. But no, that was a bad place to deploy that. But we're just gonna boost all the way up to the finish line. Now, there we go. Easy peasy. Breach of the peace. I wonder if that be our last run. It sure did. So very cool. All right. Let's see if we get anything new off of that. Looks like we're gonna get a new car. A Maserati Gran Cabrio. Okay. Nice convertible Maserati there. All right, so let's see. All right, so we're gonna be jumping in the McLaren, or not the McLaren, sorry, the Aston Martin 177. So it's gonna be another one of those like time trial kind of things where we can't damage the car and we have to get there in a certain amount of time. So a minute and 51 seconds to get the distinction medal and the 6,000 bounty that comes with that. And here we go. Again, these aren't my favorite things. So I didn't even notice that it tells you what your bounty is that you need to unlock it. It was like 875,000 and we're at 43,000 right now. So it's going to be a minute before we get this thing. So we have five miles to go. And a minute and 51 seconds to get there without any damage penalties. This thing is drifty. Let's put the shortcut through here. 
Maybe not the best idea when we're not trying to take damage, but yeah, right there, that's not ideal. Alright, maybe we should have stayed on the road. Ooh. Okay, let's get off the fence line. I hate those corners. You can't see anything coming around it. Oh my gosh. It literally just steered right into that. So we're at four seconds of penalties so far. We may need to end up restarting this. If we hit a car through any of this, we're just going to restart. Just because I'm just trying to get that gold. I'm not going to waste too much time. We can't get that pretty quick. So. Know if we got gold we got gold okay whoo that was close there we go Ooh, okay so we got a new car let's see what we got here it's going to be the 911 targa 4s okay another porsche we'll take that all right so i think that's where we'll end this video off I think we did like three events each, so six events in total. I think, you know, we'll try to keep it around that depending on how long the events are, but I hope you guys are enjoying the renewal of the series. Again, I'm sorry that we have to play through all of it again. I guess I could do it off screen, um, but I figured if I was going to play through it, I might as well record playing through it again. So um, let me know down below if you'd rather me just skip to kind of where we were, and I can definitely do that. I think we were 12-ish episodes in, so, um, you know, we've got a little bit to make up, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys will leave a like and get subscribed for future content for Hot Pursuit Remastered. But other than that, we'll see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.